Deep Fun. Now, Matt Baker, presenter on The One Show and Country File, is no couch potato. In fact, he's a bit of an action man. As a presenter on Blue Peter, he trained as a stuntman, slept in jungles and helped to set a tandem hang gliding record. He's now into his sixth year of The One Show's Rickshaw Challenge, cycling 470 miles across the UK and raising money for BBC children in need. Born in Durham, Matt grew up in the Dales on his family's sheep farm and was pretty much a shoe-in as presenter on programmes like One Man and His Dog and Animal Rescue. And as Blue Peter Peter's 28th presenter, he won two children's BAFTAs. Oh, and he was a finalist on Strictly in 2010. Here are his inheritance tracks. The name of the track that I inherited is Brothers in Arms by Dire Straits. First heard this song from my dad. My dad played a lot and still does, plays an enormous amount of guitar. And he instilled this love and passion for guitar in me. And at home, back home on the farm, we have a room that is just full of guitars. Every single wall, there's guitars hanging on them. And I love nothing more than going into that room with him and just playing. And you know what? We're not the best guitarists in the world, but we, we love it and we just have the best time. Through these fields of destruction When I was a young lad, I was a competitive gymnast and travelled all over the country to compete. We would have very long car journeys and on the way there, this track would play. As the battle reached home. This track kind of coincides with my first memories of playing guitar, actually, and I was about seven years old. And it wasn't a new sound to me, but it was a new thing, being able to make that sound myself, which I, I loved. My dad got me like a little parlor guitar, and he said, hey, go on, have a little strum on that, and I'll show you where to put your feet. And he would put my fingers into the right position, and then I would then <laughs> strum. And he taught me three chords, and I was like, oh, wow. And then he said, now, because you can play those three chords, you can now play this song, this song, this song, and this song. It's just you put them in a different order. And to me, that revelation was incredible. And I practised and practised and practised. And within sort of like a week or two weeks, I, I remember standing up uh, in front of <laughs> the whole school in assembly playing English Country Garden. I know, <laughs> not quite at the level of dire straits, but I loved that thought of being able to just hold something, strum something and make music from it. And really since then I've never stopped. I used to do a milk round, so I used to get up very early in the morning and um, I used to get five pounds a morning. And the first thing that I saved up for was for a Dire Straits concert for my dad. I heard they were coming to town, they were coming to, to Newcastle City Hall and I couldn't believe it. And honestly, I delivered milk like you wouldn't believe just to get those tickets for me, dad. And we went, the pair of us, and you know, they played this song and it was just one of those moments where you think, yeah, this is what it's all about. It was wonderful. We just had a great, great night. But it's written in the in every and bizarrely then, when I started on Blue Peter, I've had an interest in life. Anyway, I, I started on Blue Peter and the first thing that I bought my dad was quite a special electric guitar. And really, it, you know, it hangs pride of place, really, amongst this huge collection of guitars that we have. And when my dad was 70, I took him out to Nashville. When I listen to it and I'm driving in the car, it just puts me back to when I was a little boy. And, and really that love of music we have together. And I think of everything that's happened since and where we've got to in our life and that love of playing music and you know, the hairs on the back of my neck just go up and it always brings a bit of a tear to my eye. The track that I would pass on is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang by the Sherman Brothers.
the first encounter I had with it was watching the movie as a child. But then I got the opportunity when I was on Blue Peter to actually be in the musical at the London Palladium, where Michael Ball was playing Caractacus. Now, this was my kind of first venture towards the world of musical theatre, which I love. And what an experience that was. I would say of all of the things that I've done, I loved that feeling of being in that musical. It's so happy, the song. And I think the intricacy of the music from the Sherman Brothers is just phenomenal. And all the individual instruments seem to talk their way through these songs. And that's something I want to kind of wrap around my children when it comes to music. You know, the whizzes and the woos and all, and, and the, the way that somehow the musicians can get their instruments to almost talk a different language. Both my children are learning musical instruments at school. My daughter's just started violin, and my son, he plays guitar. Molly's very good, actually. When I sit and play piano, she loves to tinkle and join in and play notes that she feels work with what I'm playing and I really enjoy doing that. That to me is a lovely thing to do with your children if you if you have that opportunity. Do you know, I've had many adventures around the world. I've travelled all over the place with Blue Peter and every single place I went to I would always bring back a musical instrument. So we've got quite an orchestra at home from tiny little kind of plinky-plonky things from the wilds of Tanzania through to every drum you can imagine and also stringed instruments as well. And so we'll always get together and just kind of make noise and I just love it. I just love to do it. I would really like to pass this on to my children and I, I hope that they take from it that sense of making stuff out of other stuff <laughs> which in life is important actually whatever you've got you need to make the most of it it doesn't matter what it turns out like if it's kind of working it'll do you know and i hope really that that's what they take away because they watch me all the time cobbling stuff together having a go at something, trying something out and seeing the humour and the fun in life. You know, whatever they're doing, just doing it with a smile on your face and, and making the most of it. Yeah, I just like to generally make sound. We're always playing music in our house. My wife is always telling me to shut up. <laughs> Right, Matt Baker currently somewhere between Newcastle and Hartlepool cycling alongside this year's Team Rickshaw on this eight-day, 474-mile journey for this year's One Show Rickshaw Challenge, of course, in aid of BBC Children in Need. And you can follow Team Rickshaw's progress and find out what else is happening for this year's Children in Need at bbc.co.uk slash pudsey. And, of course, you can tune in to the BBC Children in Need Appeal Show for a night of entertainment on BBC One Friday, November the 18th, starts at 7 o'clock. 